Hi, I'm Irving. Welcome back to TV Fails, where we look at TV shows from my era that lasted one season or less. Last time, we got introduced to Honey West, who keeps an ocelot as her partner and a guy named Sam Bold as a pet, or something like that. She and Sam are serious gadgeteers, and they use both the doohickey Sam invents and Honey's natural um, doohickeys to solve crimes and puzzles and all that stuff. What are they up to today? They're breaking and entering. Establishing shots told us this is the Hirschfield Museum. Honey's going to take that jade owl in the glass case and replace it with a fake. She'll quietly make her escape, and she and Sam will deliver the stolen item to an old friend of ours. Trick or treat? Treat, Mr. Patterson. Just where did you get this? We stole it from the Hirschfield Museum. We thought you might like it back. I've talked about Lloyd Botchner many times. We can already see that there's something creepy about this guy, and that was Mr. Botchner's forte. He was so good at playing the sophisticated sleazeball it could make your skin crawl. Today, he's Guy Patterson. That owl belongs to him, and he just loaned it to the museum. He has it insured for half a million dollars. And today, that's more than all of us combined are ever likely to see. Unknown to him, the insurance company hired Honey to check out the museum's security. The next day, in a meeting with Mr. Patterson and the museum's curator, Honey essentially says, what security? Mr. Patterson has that owl insured for $500,000, and the insurance company won't continue the risk unless they're satisfied that it's safe here. It's not the money, Gordon, but I went through a lot of trouble to get that bird out of China. Which is to say he stole it. But it's way more important for him to have an expensive trinket than for the Chinese people to have a piece of their heritage. Everybody knows that. As it happens, Honey, or more precisely Sam, has the solution to their security problem. This is a low-intensity radioactive material. The radiation it gives off is harmless, and it's short-ranged. It's less than 20 feet. But it's strong enough to be picked up by this gadget. Works on the same principle as a Geiger counter. If the radioactive clay gets too far away from the machine, the machine sounds the burglar alarm. The gentlemen are impressed. That should keep the insurance company happy. We also want to drill a hole in the wall. A hole? What for? Oh, only a small hole. We want to set up a 16 millimeter camera and focus it on the display case. That way we can record all the visitors that come to see the owl. And check out all the suspicious ones. If you're going to record the whole day, I hope your camera can hold a film reel eight feet tall. Mr. Gordon, you have just been burglar proofed. There's no such thing. She should know that. I feel I owe you something. We got the job. That's all we want. No, I meant personally. The kind of thing that can only be satisfied by uh, wine and candlelight. Say tomorrow evening. Well, that's very sweet of you. Uh, I know I'm free. I think Sam is. I know I am. I'm not sure that's what he had in mind. He's smooth, suave, and thoroughly out of his league. Mr. Patterson? What is it, Doc? I will tolerate no more delays. The Ming Owl must be delivered within 48 hours. You'll have it. You gave us that assurance last time. The last time I wasn't handed the Owl on a somewhat hot golden platter. And that's why you don't use the expression burglar proof. Because the burglar was in on your whole briefing, so he knows exactly what to do. Name's Mortimer, exporter-importer from Hong Kong. I tailed him to the Gotham Hotel. He came back later, took more pictures. What do you think? I think the insurance company would like to know more about him. So would I. Since we already know Patterson is the bad guy, tonight the part of the red herring will be played by William Bramley. He was a character actor who didn't lack for work his entire career. We haven't seen him on this channel before, but we have heard him. 
He was the voice of Mr. Nobody, Penny Robinson's invisible friend inside the Diamond Cave in the first season of Lost in Space. Fans of great musicals might also recognize Officer Krupke from the 1961 movie version of West Side Story. He was one of only a handful of actors from the Broadway cast who also played in the movie. Sam will go burgle his safe later that evening while Honey is out on her date with Guy Patterson. Well, it's still early. We could have a nightcap at my place. We disturb Frog. No, Tog. <sighs> Nothing disturbs him. He disturbs me. Besides, we might make the dogs restless. I'm selling the dogs. Why? I'm moving to Hong Kong shortly. Well, that's a long way to go for a fortune cookie. <clears throat> this moron is giving me everything. But I'll always remember you. Your eyes shine like the lights of Hong Kong at night. It's been a lovely tour of the Orient Guy. And you're welcome to remember her as long as you remember those eyes or as much of her as you ever got to explore. It's clear he's not used to dealing with women who are a dozen times smarter than he is. And you may want to take your handkerchief and wipe that door print off your nose. Next morning, Sam has to give Honey a rather abrupt awakening. Come on, Honey, wake up. Oh, Sam, go away. We've got headaches. Mm, what do you mean, we? I only had one martini. Mortimer gave me the slip last night. Is that serious? What do you think? Overconfidence often leads to an abrupt awakening, and it's nice to know Honey West is no different. Needless to say, the curator is so far beyond furious he can't stand still. The base is hot. You mean it's radioactive? Sure. And absorbed enough radiation from the putty to keep this receiver operating. Simple. Brilliant physicist and inventor Sam Bolt apparently forgot that radiation does that. What if the thief had taken the base too? The alarm would have worked. Yeah. If I hadn't listened to your harebrained scheme, the Ming Owl would still be here. Fortunately, he knows just what they need to get the owl back. Another gadget. I give up. What are they? Miniature radiation detectors. I left some of that radioactive putty on the table over there. Take this and go on over. My mistake, two gadgets. When one of them gets close to radiation, it starts buzzing. He and Honey will each take one. First, Sam will check out Mortimer's place. That briefcase isn't big enough to hold the owl, so what's in it? Hello. Honey, you found the discarded putty in Mortimer's briefcase. But there's still no sign of the owl. He'll keep looking, but Honey thinks she's figured out the scheme. Mr. Patterson is broke, Sam. You're kidding. No. The bank is repossessing his estate. And he's up to his ears in gambling debts. Well, there's something strange about the whole thing. That's not all. He's a Harvard physics man. So what? So out guessing your radioactive gadget might be easy for him. Patterson's <clears throat> driver, Tog, is an agent with the Chinese government. He's made a deal to buy the owl back from Patterson and return it to China. That fee plus the insurance settlement for the owl should keep the kneecap smashers away from Patterson for a while. Snoopers sometimes get shot. Our trained, experienced private detective forgot to watch his back. While we sit here and wonder what Mortimer is going to do, Honey's decided what she's going to do. Guy, did I disturb you? Well, I'm calling you because today I feel I owe you something. I don't believe it. The owl, I mean. If only there was some way I could make it up to you personally. Girl, you're in the wrong profession. You're mistaken, Aunt Meg. She's in exactly the right profession to do what she's planning. And she doesn't need Sam to invent her any special gadgets to make it happen. He says, dinner at my place, 8 o'clock. We're not privy to his end of the conversation, and even we can hear him drooling. <laughs> hey, I got something for you. 
Something cool and bubbly might be cooling. The portrait is of my mother. In typical rich guy fashion, he keeps it prominently displayed so everybody can tell where the wall safe is. Oh, my silly alarm watch. Sometimes I forget to unset it. And now we know the owl is probably in the safe. Predictable, but we the viewers aren't trying to solve the mystery, we already know. The main question we need answered is how much trouble are Honey and Sam going to get themselves into before they figure it out? Excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? Mr. Tog is ready to leave with the dogs for the boat. He says it is important to speak with you. Yeah, I'll turn up here right there. Now don't you move till I get back. I don't want you to shake any of that moonlight out of your hair. For a physicist, he seems to have some strange ideas about how light behaves. Oh, he's trying to be poetic. Emphasis on trying. While he's off with Tog, Honey will do some snooping of her own. Told you. You forgot something, Honey. As I said, she forgot something. Her purse with the radiation detector. Patterson finds it and now he knows he's in trouble. The next thing he has to find is... I got lonesome. The next thing he has to find is the elusive Miss West herself. Tog is holding a tranquilizer gun and of course she stands there passively while he shoots her with it. She left here about an hour and a half ago. I told her to stay put. Now she's really got herself in it. Gotham Hotel, let me speak to George Mortimer. What's he calling Mortimer for? The whole job is a bust, so he wants to get in on the heist? What's going on here? Yeah, she's in the bag. She wakes up in a cabin and suddenly realizes she's literally on a slow boat to China. But help is on the way. And the other good news is Patterson was kind enough to leave her purse with her, so at least she has her lipstick. Sam? Sam, can you read me? Yeah, that one serves her lips in multiple ways. Sam, come in. Sam, I'm in trouble on a boat somewhere. Sam? If I'm Sam and I find myself in a one against six situation, I put my hands up and say I surrender in as many languages as I can pull out of my head. Honey can hear the struggle, so she knows she'd better not wait for Sam to come to the rescue. I thought Patterson said he was going to sell those dogs. Maybe he can get a better price in China? Or maybe they're somewhat essential to the plot. Tog intends to put Sam in the same room Honey is in, except Honey's not there anymore. <laughs> And now neither is the owl, but Tog knows how to track her down. Yeah. Unchain the dogs and off they go to track down that scent. <laughs> Or not. As a rule, dogs aren't big fans of slip and slides. Ah. 
<laughs> Remember when he did this? <laughs> He's starting to realize maybe he should have taken that extra couple of seconds to put it back in her purse. <laughs> Yeah, that would be why. That was Mortimer who dove in with her, but she's not about to let him get away with the owl. Honey! Honey! It's all right, Sam! It's our side! What? Mortimer's on our side! Okay, in that case, I won't drown him. When Sam looked in Mortimer's briefcase, he discovered the man is a customs agent. Did you know about Patterson all along? For some time, yes. And that's how he got the putty. He picked it up when Patterson got rid of it. Uh, however, I wasn't after Patterson. It was a Mr. X who made a specialty of smuggling stolen goods in and out of the country. Tog. <laughs> but now the big question is going to be, who owns the owl? By all indications, Patterson didn't exactly bring it into the country by legal means, so it seems to me it really does belong to the Chinese government. But this was 1965 and the Chinese were great examples of them lousy commie guys and they're always the enemy so we can loot their stuff if we want to because we're the good guys. We won't get any answers to those questions, but we will wrap up one more loose end. And by the way, whatever happened to Todd? <laughs> I think dogs going to the dogs. And we'll do it with a nice Honey West pun. They did rescue Tog and he went to prison, but he was very quick to find a new perfume. Once he settled on Axe body spray, no animals of any kind ever bothered him again. He's made a deal to buy the bow, buy the bow, bay, 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 that evening while Honey is out on her date with Guy Patterson. That was so bad, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't do that and read it at the same time.